which the morning started on Saturday, Oklahoma and Baylor, Cincinnati versus Memphis, and then Virginia and Clemson in the nightcap. All right, let's give you an update on Bedlam. Number seven, Oklahoma at Oklahoma State. Jalen Hurts has thrown for a touchdown, ran for a touchdown, and even caught a touchdown pass. Yes, that's what happened right there. They're up 34-16. Meanwhile, Georgia, they beat Georgia Tech 52-7. Clemson winning 38 -7. To three, Georgia advances to the SEC championship game to play against number two LSU. And currently, right now on ESPN, Arizona and ASU playing for the Territorial Cup. It's that time again, but it grab your balloons and invite your friends. Huh? 94.5 XKR is Toledo's only classic rock station with Pike, Bill Michaels, and Grizzly. In four 94-minute rock blocks each weekday. Classic rock and classic jocks. Toledo's classic rock. 94.5 XKR. Are you finally ready to do something about your roof but not sure who to trust? Voted Remodelers of the Year three years in a row, Arnold's Home Improvement has earned a reputation for integrity and skilled professional work that you can trust. Our highly trained contractors provide quality roofing solutions to improve the appearance of your home that will last a lifetime. The next 10 callers to schedule their projects with us will receive $500 upon completion. team gets answers 13 abc action news live from toledo this is 13 abc action news Thanks for staying up with us. Welcome to Action News. I'm Michaela Marshall. We start tonight with the latest in a murder investigation in Perrysburg. Neighbors say they're shocked and traumatized by yesterday's deadly stabbing. Police identified the victim as 19-year-old Amani Irvin and the suspect as a 16-year-old teen. Tonight, I talked with a neighbor who tried to save the victim's life by performing CPR. Neighbors say Tonebridge Court is a quiet cul-de-sac in Perrysburg. You hear nothing. So it's, been, it's a very peaceful neighborhood. But this Thanksgiving weekend, the street was blocked off by police. Officers on scene investigating a deadly stabbing. The neighbors say that they saw a, uh, uh, a male who appeared deceased uh, laying at the end of the driveway. Uh, when officers got here, uh, some of the neighbors had been performing CPR on him. Uh, the medics came and he was pronounced dead uh, shortly after they arrived. Uh, so it, at this point, it appears to be a homicide. Jim Randolph and his son were those neighbors performing CPR on the victim, 19-year-old Amani Irvin of Toledo. I wish he would have lived, but, you know, I think anyone, if they see someone hurt, would help them. Both are medical professionals and rushed to help when they heard he was badly bleeding. He had a, uh, like a sweater, a turtleneck sweater pulled over his head, so I pulled it down and, and uh, he didn't look like he was breathing. Irvin died in the driveway of the home where neighbors say the 16-year-old suspect lives. He's facing aggravated murder charges and is locked up in the Wood County Juvenile Detention Center. He had a stab wound here, I think he had one up here, and then he had one here. Police believe the stabbing was not random and that the victim and suspect knew each other. The car was in the driveway, it was still running. The driver's door was open. There was a shoe laying next to the car. There's a little bit of blood inside of the car. Um, so I don't, I don't know what happened, but it seemed like it happened in the car and then he stumbled out of the car and just fell on the ground. I knocked on the door of where the crime happened, but I did not get a response. Neighbors and police are still trying to figure out exactly what took place here Friday afternoon and why. It's very shocking, yes. You know, something you don't, uh, don't forget about. The investigation is ongoing. Perrysburg Police, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation, and the Wood County Prosecutor's Office are all working the case. Investigators are still trying to determine what caused a fire that left major damage to multiple Toledo homes today. 
It happened around 315 this afternoon along the 4000 block of Walker Street. The battalion chief at the scene told 13 ABC the fire was large, burning through the roof and out the windows, quote, like a torch. A neighbor spoke with us and said he was watching the Ohio State game with his family when the flames erupted. Uh, so we ran outside, seen that it was engulfed, and then we seen that the neighbor's house was catching on fire as well. So my brother-in-law and I, we made, you know, ran over there as everyone was coming out, make sure everyone was out of the house. And uh, then the fire department came. Like, it was crazy. Both homes, both homes damaged by the fire are occupied, but everyone got out safely. We just spoke with a representative of the Toledo Fire and Rescue Department who says the cause is still under investigation. Moving on to weather now, we might get some rain overnight and even a dusting of snow ahead. 13 minutes of nonstop news continues right now with first warning meteorologist Dan Smith. Dan. Yeah, the radar is starting to fill up out west now. Heavier pockets of rain possible overnight, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. We'd actually seen some lightning strikes being picked up right here over uh, northern central Indiana and even just a little bit north of Fort Wayne. You start seeing some, again, heavier little isolated cells here. It's nothing really severe, anything like that, but you can hear the pitter patter of raindrops on your rooftops. We're already getting at least a little bit here in Toledo by about three, four in the morning is when you ought to feel some of the heavier stuff coming in, maybe a little bit less. So by the time we hit around uh, noon or so tomorrow, and notice these daytime temperatures close to 50 degrees and then we drop like a rock. And in fact, we might even get some snow out of it. Some very light stuff here for late tomorrow evening into early Monday morning. Just don't be surprised if you might wake up to a dusting of snow to kick off the work week. We'll tell you what that system has and what the rest of the work week has in store when I come back. Dan, thank you. Eyes across Michigan and Ohio were glued to the TV this afternoon, and many loyal fans made the trek up to Michigan Stadium for the big border battle. The Ohio State Buckeyes taking on the Michigan Wolverines. 13 ABC's Joe Nugent was in Ann Arbor for the highly anticipated game and has details on the showdown. Joe, another Buckeye win. Yes, uh, you know what? One of these years, Michigan is going to actually win this game, but boy, it feels like we are so far away from that actually happening. It was uh, lopsided again. Ryan Day makes his debut for the Buckeyes. The rookie head coach did great up at the big house. If we could see some video of him, that would be fabulous as he helps the team warm up before the game. Four touchdown passes for his quarterback, Justin Fields. Four more touchdowns for his running back, J.K. Dobbins. Eight total touchdowns. The Buckeyes score 56 points. They win it going away 56-27, and that is eight straight, a record eight straight for Ohio State in the series. Uh, ever since... Um... Uh, I took the job. Uh, it's been on my mind. Um, I know what this game means to the people of Ohio, the Buckeye Nation, and coming off the heels of one of the greatest coaches in the history of college football, went seven and zero here. Uh, those are big shoes to fill. We didn't really, um, you know, put them in a position to be, you know, uh, of pressure on them, and and um, and then and they played really well. They uh, they made those plays. They made those drives. They got those stops, and um, you know they played. Uh, they play good football. Why have the Buckeyes won eight straight? What's behind their big run? We'll hear what Ohio State has to say about that. We'll also hear from Michigan players. And it was a huge night in high school football. We'll have all that coming up in sports. Oh, yeah, great atmosphere. Ohio State Buckeyes, I mean, nothing better than Ohio State Michigan game. Fans across Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan shared their excitement with us before the annual tradition. Frickers in Sylvania was among several local bars showing the border battle between Ohio State and Michigan. Two Ohio and Michigan State representatives have made a friendly wager, but it wasn't necessarily all about football. Michigan Secretary, Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson and Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose each bet that their state would see a higher voter turnout in the 2020 general election. If Michigan has a higher turnout next November, LaRose will have to wear maize and blue and sing the Michigan fight song at next year's game. And if Ohio beats Michigan in voter, voter turnout, Benson will wear scarlet and gray and sing Ohio State's fight song. Michigan and Ohio have been very close in voter turnout rates, so this bet comes highly anticipated. Happening tomorrow, we are just hours away from Michigan's first ever, ever legal sale of recreational marijuana. Beginning tomorrow, you can legally buy the product, but there are very few dispensaries that can sell. 
There are only six stores in Michigan that will be selling recreational marijuana. That includes one in Morency and four in Ann Arbor. Adults 21 years or older can walk in and buy edibles, capsules, and other forms of the drug. You won't need a medical marijuana card. You just need an ID. Again, sales are expected to begin tomorrow. In your consumer alert tonight, the last round of contract negotiations with the three big Detroit automakers is over. The United Auto Workers Union and Fiat Chrysler have reached a tentative labor deal. The UAW says this would result in 7,900 new jobs over the four-year contract period. The union says it secured an additional $4.5 billion in major investments from the automaker. The Fiat Chrysler agreement must still be ratified by UAW workers. Well, did you brave the crowds and shop yesterday? This year saw the biggest Black Friday ever with $7.4 billion spent and an additional 4.2 billion shoppers cashed in on Thanksgiving Day as well. Numbers show more people are buying online as well, up 43% from last year. 2.9 billion of holiday sales have come from purchases made using smartphones and the spree isn't over yet. After huge online sales on Black Friday, shoppers spent their Saturday visiting small businesses in their communities. The Shop Small movement started by American Express back in 2010 encourages consumers to make purchases at local businesses in their neighborhood. After a successful first year, the Senate unanimously passed a resolution in 2011. And many stores throughout our area were offering up specials for Small Business Saturday. In Sylvania, several locally owned spots invited shoppers to come in and do their holiday shopping. So today with Small Business Saturday, um, we just really encourage everyone to shop local all season long, but today is the day that we promote that. So all the shops have different things going on, different um, giveaways, different, different promotions. So it's just really a great opportunity to get your Christmas shopping started. Shops ranged from florals to art galleries, clothing stores, and much more. One of the biggest shopping days of the year is drawing near. Cyber Monday is forecasted to generate $9.4 billion. But the Better Business Bureau wants to remind everyone even online shopping has risks. They say to watch out for false advertising and keep a close eye on the web address on your browser for fake sites. You're also urged to price check before you buy. Lastly, use your credit card. If any unknown charges turn up, you can dispute them. Debit cards do not offer that same protection. New tonight, here's a look ahead at what's in tomorrow's edition of The Blade. A rural Michigan school district says enough is enough. Find, find out why one district leader is saying school safety is the top priority and is debating arming their teachers. It's been a dream across the country. See how close Ohio is getting to a Hyperloop train system. You can read more about these stories and others on the Blades News Slide app. Ten exotic animals were killed in a barn fire at the African Safari Wildlife Park in Danbury Township. The owners of the park have been assessing damage after the blaze tore through their barn on Thanksgiving. The team has decided to close the park early for the season instead of keeping it open through tomorrow as originally planned. The Ohio Fire Marshal's office is investigating the fire and says it may be several weeks before they have a definitive cause. The suspect in the deadly London stabbing claimed he was not a terrorist and was under electronic monitoring when he carried out yesterday's attack. ABC's Karina Mitchell reports. London still reeling after Friday's terror attack in the heart of the city. Get out of the way, please. Out of the way. A knife-wielding suspect going on a deadly rampage, killing two people and wounding three others. Police called to reports of multiple stabbings near London Bridge. Amid the panic, passersby jumped into action, armed only with a fire extinguisher, chasing the man down, disarming and detaining him until authorities arrived. Officers eventually shooting and killing the suspect. It's already clear that this cowardly act was immediately countered by some incredible acts of bravery both by members of the public and from police officers. Britain's Prime Minister thanking everyone for the quick response. I want to pay tribute again, as I think the whole country is, to the sheer bravery of those members of the public who went to, to deal with him uh, spontaneously. The suspect, 28-year-old Usman Khan, speaking to the BBC in 2008 after his home was raided by police. All the community knows me. And they will know, if you ask them, they will know, like these labels, what they're putting on, like terrorists, this, that, they will know 
I, I, I know terrorists. But he later admitted being involved in a terrorist conspiracy. Khan was convicted in 2012 for terrorism offenses and released from prison in December of 2018. Now questions about how he was able to carry out this attack even as he was being monitored electronically. We found no evidence, no evidence to suggest anybody else was involved in this attack. Today, ISIS claiming Khan was acting in their name. Meanwhile, the three people he stabbed remain in the hospital. Karina Mitchell, ABC News. Well, rain is on the way overnight. Let's check in again with Dan for the 13-hour forecast. Well, Michaela, like you said, rain tonight, maybe even a few wet flakes mixed in closer to sunset tomorrow. Take a look at this. We should be around the low 40s or so by daybreak, still holding on to a lot of those rain chances with this system uh, move, moving through. Brief break in the action in the middle part of the day that should allow us to warm up close to 50 degrees. That'll feel nice, but that's going to be the high point for the week. In fact, with those temperatures dropping, we could even see some wet snowflakes mixed in by sunset or even a little bit after that tomorrow. Details on what the next work week has in store for us when I come back. Sounds good. Thank you, Dan. Coming up, the holidays are glowing bright in Maumee. We'll take you to the parade that lit up the dark evening. Action News is back in just 35 seconds. If you like to put work in here or here, now you get Jeep employee pricing as if you work here. At the Jeep Black Friday sales event, you pay what we pay on select models like the Jeep Renegade, the most capable small SUV ever, the Jeep Compass, the most capable compact SUV ever, and Jeep Cherokee, the most capable midsize SUV. It's employee pricing plus at the Jeep Black Friday sales event. You don't have to be an FCA employee to get this great offer. Our price is your price. Hurry in for employee pricing plus. 13 ABC First Warning Weather, sponsored by Frankel Dentistry. Now, 13 ABC First Warning Weather with meteorologist Dan Smith. Well, most of the rain has yet to get here in northwest Ohio, southeast Michigan. In fact, the system really slowed up. We were thinking for the longest time that it might be raining just about the time of the uh, U of M OSU game earlier today. And we have had at least a little bit of rain here in Toledo. You see all the amorphous blobs out there. Fifth Third Bank building on the left-hand side of your screen and just in the distance, Veterans Glass City Skyway. Now, as for right now, 41 degrees and coming in about mostly cloudy skies, really. It's sort of a fineness to this, uh, what is falling at the moment. But so far, it's nothing compared to what we're gonna get overnight. I'm thinking at least a half inch to an inch for most locations, maybe even some locally higher amounts. It all depends on where these isolated heavier pockets are gonna come in. Winds from the east southeast at 14 miles an hour, those winds are a little bit higher than typically we'll uh, get in the nighttime here. It feels like 33 already and you notice we already have some of these starting to develop. Brian, Defiance, Paulding starting to move in here just in that northeast corner of Indiana as well. A little bit of a, a perspective on it. Most of Indiana, most of uh, north central here, even a few rumbles of thunder embedded in here. Don't be surprised if we have that shaping up overnight as well. And an even bigger look at this, there's the center of the low, this whole thing wrapping around, and most of this is in fact snow. If you were watching the uh, Minnesota game earlier today, uh, you would have noticed that for sure. And this this whole thing is reaching up to the Canadian border and just a little bit beyond. Almanac today, 41 is what we hit. It's where we're at, and it's very close to average. 42 degrees, low of 33 should be around 28. Here's what Predictor has to say, and there's those heavier pockets around 3, 4 in the morning starting to roll through northwest Ohio, southeast Michigan. As we start to go through the day, just a few peaks of sunshine, and that ought to help us reach close to the 50 degree mark. 50 in BG, I wouldn't be surprised if us here in Toledo, we here in Toledo would hit that as well. And then those temperatures kind of drop, don't they? 37 by 8 o'clock, and we may be mixing in a few wet snowflakes as well. So, forecast for tonight, 37. I'm thinking that stays as pure liquid rain here. Even a few rumbles of thunder possible. A little bit of a kick to the wind there from the east. 50 for tomorrow's high. Winds in the southwest, 10 to 20 at that point. Getting rid of the rain and maybe subbing it in for snow just a little bit later on in the day. Your first warning extended forecast, 38, 39, 40. Not exactly improving too much as we head on in to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But notice there, hope for the holidays, drive through bash at the end of the work week, 42 degrees. That'll at least feel pretty nice. So far, not expecting any rain or snow, so I'll come out, donate some toys. Absolutely. Well, it sounds like the rain thankfully held off today. It's it's coming, but you know, it's kind of a chilly night, maybe a good one for a parade. Yes, exactly. Parades, uh, games, what, what have you.
All right, well, there was one in Maumee we'd love All to right. tell you about. Mommy is all aglow tonight. It's the city's 16th annual holiday light parade. It started with the holiday hustle 5k run with the classic parade that followed and drew in hundreds of spectators. Floats and performers traveled from the Mommy Indoor Theater to Conant Street to Broadway. And it's something we look forward to every year. Our hope for the holidays toy drive and those toys are rolling in. Here's a live look at our lobby here at 13 ABC filling up with toys donated by generous viewers like you. You can drop off your donations here or at our partners, the Salvation Army, Arnold's Home Improvement, Gallon Tackus and Boys and Alt, the White Family Dealerships and Key Bank branch locations all around our area. Visit 13ABC.com for the full list. Straight ahead, we are going back up to Ann Arbor. A great day for the Buckeyes and a bad day for the Wolverines. But uh, first, the winning lottery numbers from your official lottery station, 13 ABC. drive-through bash the extravaganza that helps area children enjoy a brighter holiday bring a new unwrapped toy to 13 abc studios or locations in bowling green finley or toledo and share in the festivities of the day when looking for a tv and internet provider we know you have a choice this is jessica she still has satellite tv well i get tons of hd spectrum has tons of hd and we love spectrum's 24-hour local news channel plus we get exclusive access to premium original content with spectrum originals i don't have that get spectrum tv from 44.99 a month call 833-620-4499 spectrum internet starts at 100 megabits with no data caps and a free modem we have to get internet from another Another company and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of yours. That's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-620-4499. I love that one. I love it. I love it. It's easy to fall in love with a new Chevy. I love this one, too. And this wow. month is the perfect time to see why. Wow. I love it. That's my next truck. Find your reason to oh fall in love God. with a new Chevy and get a great deal all month long. I love it. I'm going to go buy a Chevy. <laughs> Qualified lessees can get this Silverado Custom for around $269 a month. Or during the Black Friday sales event to get 20% below MSRP on other select 2019 models when you purchase. Where is everyone? Everyone is at Yark Chrysler's Employee Pricing for All Black Friday event. For three days only, employee pricing for all on select 2019 and 2020 models. Now, everyone can lease the new 2020 Ram Bighorn, $139 per month. Or the new 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee, $249 per month. Only at Yark Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Cap type swipe. YarkChrysler.com. 13 ABC wants you to light up the holidays. Share your home holiday light display and you can be featured on 13abc.com and 13abc Action News. Submit your photos or videos at 13abc.com today and help make this holiday season bright. Now, 13 ABC Action Sports with BCSN. Here's Joe Nugent. Judgment Day in Ann Arbor. These are the games that are remembered for decades. Ryan Day steps into the big house for the first time as a head coach, joined by a former Michigan coordinator, Greg Madison in the scarlet and gray. It looks weird. Brett Wimpkin from Napoleon dots the eye for the second time this season. The Wolverines win the toss, take the ball, and drive right down the field. It ends with a 22-yard Giles Jackson touchdown. It is 6-0 blue because they missed the extra point. The Bucks match it with a nine-play drive. J.K. Dobbins in, and it's quickly a 7-6 ball game. Huge one for Justin Fields. Four touchdown passes, including this 57-yard shot to Chris Olave, who, remember, broke out in this very game last year against the Wolverines. Bucks up 14-6. 
Shea Patterson in the Michigan offense quickly counters. A minute later, 25 yards to Donovan Peoples-Jones over the middle. It's Shea's only touchdown pass of the game, and the Wolverines are within one, 14 to 13. All that in the first quarter. J.K. Dobbins scores two more touchdowns before the break, four total in this 211-yard performance. Third quarter, Ohio State in control, but silence as Justin Fields aggravates a sprained MCL injury. Potential big-time consequences because they are not deep at QB. But in the same drive, Justin returns with a stronger brace on his left knee. Best throw of the game. Back corner of the end zone to Garrett Wilson, and it's over. Ohio State beats Michigan for a record eighth straight time, 56-27. Day, in his own words, wins for the first time against the team up north. Here's Steve Slipka. The Buckeyes absolutely won this game on the ground. Consider that at one point in the third quarter, Ohio State had five rushing yards to every one yard on the ground for Michigan. Well, we take a lot of pride in, you know, doing what we did today and last year. We didn't really, like, put anything into perspective <clears throat> of what we done last year, you know, we try to do what we do this year. There's so much riding on a game like this, and you, and you understand and you feel the weight of everybody involved with it. And and to win like this right now, it's a relief. It is. I know a few players on the team, and uh, I just know the things we do uh, in terms of workouts and how serious uh, we, we we take it at Ohio State. Just just talking to those guys and kind of getting their perspective on things, I, I definitely like see that we, we take it way more serious. The Buckeyes make it clear that this is a 365 day process to beat the Wolverines. Speaking of Michigan, that's where we find Justin Feldkamp. Yes, Ohio State was the better team, but Michigan had so many self inflicted errors. They missed an extra point. They had a fumble in the red zone. They dropped the touchdown catch in the end zone. They were offsides on a punt and they had a personal foul penalty. Just in the second half, we let the game get away from us for a little bit. And I think uh, we just got to play, you know, the same way for four quarters, not just two or three. It's just kind of the same thing every year. Got to execute better. I didn't see this coming. Uh, you know, you're not going to win ball games when you're letting up 50 or 60 points. It's not going to happen. So we got to be better. So the Buckeyes are dancing in Michigan Stadium while the Wolverines are reeling, at least when it comes to this rivalry. Jim Harbaugh is now 0-5 against the Buckeyes. And several of those were lopsided. Big night in high school football. Three teams playing in state semifinals tonight, including the Clyde Flyers. We'll hear from them and see them coming up here in a minute. First in line. You don't have to wait for Furniture Rose Black Friday Super Sale. Get huge savings store-wide. And seven years, no interest financing. Plus, the more you buy, the more you save. But I was first in line. The Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row. You can save all month long with Bathfitter's month-long Black Friday event. Zero interest for 24 months or take 10% off your tub or shower upgrade. If you need a place to relax or a conversion to make bathing easier, call now and count on the company with a seamless wall and a lifetime warranty. Plus, installation in as little as one day. Don't wait. Call now and find out why Bathfitter is the perfect fit. We're the perfect fit. I did some early shopping this year. One for you, one for me. I love it. I got us a little something, too. Yeah? Yep. One for you, and one for me. I love it. Oh, actually, that was supposed to be for me. I love it. I like red. During the GMC Black Friday event, get 16% below MSRP on most 2019 terrain models. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners get an additional 4% purchase allowance. We are professional grade. GMC. I felt lost. I didn't know which way to go. I didn't know what to do. The system that I believed in and had paid into most of my life, when I needed them, they were not there for me. Their Social Security benefits were denied, and we weren't going to let that happen. They got me my benefits. I never got through it without them. I'm an attorney with Gallon, Takis, and Boisenault. You're not alone. We can help. We build Motor Trend's back-to-back -back truck of the year to serve the people who depend on them. Cabins to comfort, power to do more. Now to say thank you, we're extending our employee pricing plus to everyone because we believe what's right for the people who build your trucks is right for you. Welcome to the Ram Nation. 
You don't have to be an FCA employee to get this great offer. Our price is your price. Hurry in for Employee Pricing Plus. The Black Friday Super Sale at Denver Mattress is happening now. So take advantage of the season's best financing with seven years no interest. And find huge savings on Tempur-Pedic and Sealy mattress sets. But don't wait. The Black Friday Super Sale at Denver Mattress ends Monday. 13 ABC Action Sports. Sponsored by Marco's Pizza. Six high school games tonight across the state of Ohio, and half of them include a team from our neck of the woods. We will start in Division 4 down in Marysville, 9-4 and four Clyde, taking on undefeated Wyoming, a school out of Cincinnati. Gunnar Golden has himself a ball game. More than 140 yards and five touchdowns. Gunnar scores every flyer TD. They win at 35-14. And they'll face another perfect opponent Saturday in Canton, Licking Valley, who's now 14-0. Division 5 from Strongsville, Oak Harbor, and Kirtland combined. They're a perfect 26-0, but only one will move on to next week. Tyler May picks that off for the Rockets. Oak Harbor scores a couple touchdowns, but it is Kirtland who will get a chance at a state championship. They win 28-14. Division 7 down in Lima, Patrick Henry taking on Marion Local. Two programs that are not strangers to this part of the season. They've made several deep runs. Unfortunately for the Patriots, it's all uh, Marion Local in slow motion. They move on 40 to 6. Also uh, boxing tonight, Tyler McCreary back in the ring. Tyler was undefeated. But he lost for the first time tonight. Uh, so darn. Uh, yeah, but he'll he'll get back in there and uh, do a great job. Well, back to football a little bit. It seems like our local football Fridays are winding down. I think, almost a thing of the past. I think we've seen the end of uh, football Friday. Yeah, only uh, one team left. And they'll actually play uh, on Saturday next weekend, Clyde. Uh, so yes, basketball coming up uh, in six days. All right, looking forward to that. Thank you, Joe. Your wake up weather forecast is right around the corner. Here's a live look from our 13 ABC action cam in Oregon. Dan's right back with what you can expect tomorrow morning. Coming up tonight on 13 ABC, Sponsored by Heflinger Shank and Oregon, your neighborhood funeral and cremation services. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay at home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, or dervers, fondueurs, and flambeers, oh, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. Surprise! A new Buick? To James, from James. Hey, is this a new Buick? I secret sanded myself. I shouldn't have. I have been very good this year. I love it. I love it. This year, turn Black Friday into Buick Friday all month long. Get 21% below MSRP on most 2019 Buick Encore models. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners and lessees get an additional 4% below MSRP. Ashley Home Store's Black Friday sale is now extended. It's your last chance to find Black Friday deals throughout the store. Items such as holiday-ready dining tables for just $2.99, queen beds for only $5.99, or choose any of these sofas, just $4.99 each. Hurry in. These Black Friday deals end soon. Shop and save today. Only at your Ashley Home Stores in Holland, Finley, Lima, Defiance, Bowling Green, and now open in Sandusky. This is home. If you like to put work in here or here, now you get Jeep employee pricing as if you work here. At the Jeep Black Friday sales event, you pay what we pay on select models like the Jeep Renegade, the most capable small SUV ever, the Jeep Compass, the most capable compact SUV ever, and Jeep Cherokee, the most capable midsize SUV. It's Employee Pricing Plus at the Jeep Black Friday sales event. You don't have to be an FCA employee to get this great offer. Our price is your price. Hurry in for Employee Pricing Plus. While some look forward to winter weather, many others do not. Our meteorologists look forward to any kind of weather. Wind, ice, and yes, even snow. When winter weather threatens, trust the first warning storm team. Only on 13 ABC Action News. 
So Dan, tomorrow is the 1st of December. When can we expect some snow? Uh, I'm expecting to open the advent calendar in about 25 minutes there. <laughs> but uh, as far as the rain goes, we're going to have the rain overnight still. 50 for tomorrow's high. And you might think, okay, well, where's the snow coming in? It's way late in the day. 30 by daybreak on Monday could have a dusting. All right. And Joe, I understand that there is another big game tomorrow, <laughs> another rivalry. It continues. Yeah, Browns on the road against the Steelers. Can't wait. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. The Gift of Life Blood Drive, January 3rd at Mommy United Methodist Church. All donors receive a free t-shirt and 50% off an adoption at the Toledo Area Humane Society. Register now. First Federal Bank is a proud supporter of This Is Home. This is home. <laughs> you, you got me. Uh, what do you want? I've got uh, AI robots. I've got VR goggles. I want your sled, please. No. <laughs> be a shame if this went viral. For those who never compromise. The Mercedes-Benz Winter Event. It was pretty good this year. Lease the GLE 354-Matic SUV for $6.59 a month at the Mercedes-Benz Winter Event. Travel just got easier. Fly to nearly 200 worldwide destinations out of Toledo Express Airport. Your local choice for fast, easy, and convenient air travel. Connect through Charlotte or Chicago on American Airlines to your favorite vacation destinations around the country and the world. Book your flight today at AA.com. Check TOL first. Doing it different, doing it right. All month, Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram is offering employee pricing plus on select vehicles. Now is the time for us to help you choose a vehicle that fits your lifestyle. Charlie's is leasing the 2019 Dodge Journey GT all-wheel drive for $179 per month. Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. On the corner of Illinois and Fort Maumee or charliesdodge.com. Doing it different, doing it right. I hired the team at Bath Fitter, and now I've got a bathtub that I love. They use the same high quality materials that they use in luxury hotels, which is great. Except when my mom comes to visit, she thinks she's staying in a five star hotel. Housekeeping! Yes, mom. Sweetie, I could use some fresh towels. From luxury hotels to homeowners, Bath Fitter exceeds expectations, and we've got over 2 million satisfied customers to prove it. Call now or visit bathfitter.com for a free in home consultation. Thanksgiving. I know I did. We hosted our whole family at our house. It was great. What I about you? Ate so much stinking ham. Uh, we eat a lot of ham <laughs> at Thanksgiving. We don't, I like turkey. Oh, I love turkey. No, I don't like ham. No, and this ham is the best ham. It, I mean, I ate a lot of it till I was sick, and I still can't wait to go home right now and eat more of it. There's something wrong up here. Look, we're headed full speed into the holiday season. And if cash explosion tickets are on your wish list, stick around because we're giving them away. Yeah. Details on our holiday ticket giveaway are coming up. But right now, let's meet tonight's winners. Tonight's contestants represent towns across Ohio, like Pickerington, Norwalk, and Cincinnati. But they are all headed to one destination, the Cash Explosion Spotlight. Ready to get it started? I'm so ready. All right, Lisa, coming up to the spotlight. to be the first player because you know you're going to the leader zone and you get to just, you know, hang out the rest of the time and hope you can keep that spot. Well, I hope so too. <laughs> All right, let's do it. One, 11, 12, 13. All right, turning here to the big board. How do you start your game? What's behind one? $3,400, that's a good start. Good start, that's a very good start. What's behind the 11? All right, so Lisa, that is our bonus board. 16 of the top Ohio lottery games up there. Big money hiding behind each of them. 
Which one do you think hides the most? Mega Millions. Mega Millions. All right, we're gonna light up Mega Millions. Find out right now exactly how much you've won off the bonus board. What's there? Are thoughts running through your head, like what you're gonna spend on it? Absolutely. What are you gonna spend it on? A bathroom, two new bathrooms. Nice. <laughs> yeah, might as well. All right, so we're gonna move the 15,000 over here. So never forget that you won that. And uh, what's behind the 11? We have more money for you. $3,000. Yes. And even more money we're adding to that Come total. On. What's behind 14? $3,300. Wow. Lisa, that's $9,700. Plus 